The best camera phones are pushing the boundaries of technology and are often capable of delivering better results than the proper camera in your kit bag. As screens get larger, camera phone sensor get more advanced and the chipset get more powerful. The best camera phones don't just deliver pure power, they are also a perfect package for convenience with a countless application at your fingertips. If you are looking for a phone for photography, then this video will help you out in choosing the best smartphone for photography. In this video, I am going to show you top 10 best camera phones that you can consider to buy for photography. So do watch the video till the end and do let me know in the comment section which smartphone did you like the most. Don't forget to hit that like button, do share this video among your friends and subscribe our channel. Google Pixel 4a – A Value for Money Smartphone for Photography It's a fantastic camera phone despite its low price. The Google Pixel 4a manages to match or exceed many flagship phones at less than half of the price. And it is for anyone who enjoys a great camera experience but doesn't want to spend a lot of money. The rear camera may only contain a single 12.2 MP lens. But it is the same lens we have seen on Pixel phones for years and it is just as good here as it was in the previous Pixel flagship. Google's strength lies in camera software rather than hardware. That means it's simple for the Pixel 4a to deliver exceptional performance that rivals quite a few flagship smartphones. Google's technology means you will struggle to take a bad picture in any light thanks to the night sight feature that takes advantage of any residual light and there is an even astrography mode to take long exposure of the night sky. There are some downsides, the single lens means you are missing out some versatility from having additional telephoto or ultra wide lens, but Google's tech can help to sidestep some of those issues with an, with an excellent digital zoom and Google's photo ability to recognize and stitch together images of the same landscape to create a larger image. Really, the Pixel 4a is an exceptional camera tied into a good budget phone. But it's worth highlighting quite how good the camera is. It's absolutely worth buying this phone for the camera alone. Links are given in the description for various countries. You can check the price and availability in your country and buy it from there. Vivo X60 Pro Plus – The Best Pro Photography Camera Phone the leather-coated X60 Pro Plus is Vivo's most powerful phone right now, though unfortunately it is only available in China and India so buyers elsewhere have to import it. This is a photography flagship boosting a camera specification that wouldn't have been out of place in an ultra-class phone from other brands. There is a 50MP main lens, 48MP gimbal stabilized ultra-wide, 32MP 2x zoom and an 8MP 5x periscope lens. You will get all of that for a lot less than $1000 but only because Vivo has skipped luxurious like wireless charging and IP rating or stereo speakers though the internal specs are top notch with a Snapdragon 888 at its heart. Bear in mind that while the Chinese version of the phone runs Vivo's new origin OS, the Indian model instead runs the company's older FunTouch OS software. If you are looking for a pro photography, then go for this phone. Google Pixel 5 – Best for Computational Photography Google Pixel phones have always been top performers where the camera is concerned and the Pixel 5 is no exception to that. Like the iPhones, its performance goes far beyond what its specifications suggest, being equipped with a modest dual lens setup comprised of a 12.2MP main lens and a 16MP ultra wide lens. Key to that is the Google software which has been turned up for the Pixel 5. Portrait shots from this phone are really great, where the Google software shines and not only does it produce excellent shots but they are exceptionally editable as well. That means you can adjust the background blur or remove the background color or even adjust the light source for portrait selfies. Best of all, this applies whether you are using the rear camera module or the 8MP selfie camera. It is also adaptable and versatile that you will struggle to take a bad picture and every photo is good enough to immediately share without any tinkering required. It's a great camera for those who like to shoot once and that's where it excels. Video is also impressive with a support for 4K video capture at 60 frames per second and 240fps slow motion too. The only downside of this smartphone is its processor. It is powered by the Snapdragon 765G chipset which is not as powerful as the flagship processors. 
Other than this, if you are expecting the design to be good, this smartphone design is not so good. iPhone 12 Pro Max, the best smartphone for video. It's the biggest iPhone and its camera is absolutely the best to boot. The new iPhone has the best camera on a smartphone hands down. Glancing at the spec sheet, it's not immediately obvious why the iPhone 12 Pro Max should be such a solid performer. In a world of 108 megapixel lenses and 10x periscope zooms, 3 12MP lenses seem underpowered. But, it, but it's not like that. iPhone 12 Pro Max has a slightly different camera setup to the iPhone 12 Pro. The key to that is an enlarged sensor. The main 12MP sensor is 47% larger than the smaller iPhone sensor and third larger sensor has a huge impact. It lets in more light which means a boost in low light and night mode photography. It also allows for a more effective natural bokeh background blur. The lens is also physically stabilized unlike the digital optical image stabilization more common in the smartphones. The result is a camera that's effective in any circumstance with a less noise and blur than competitors and unrivaled colors and contrast to boot. The 12MP selfie lens around the front is also just as good as we have came to expect from Apple. The iPhone 12 Pro Max also sports good video capabilities too. The Apple making a lot of Dolby Vision HDR video in the iPhone 12 range announcement. So because of the Dolby Vision HDR, the video quality is amazing that you cannot find in any camera smartphone. Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra The best feature-rich camera smartphone for photography and overall the best smartphone for photography. With a super high megapixel main lens, ultra wide lens and two telephoto lenses, the Galaxy S21 Ultra proves that when Samsung says ultra, it means it. The quad lens rear camera is comprised of a 108 megapixel main lens combined with a 12MP ultra wide, 10MP telephoto with a 3x optical zoom and a 10MP telephoto lens with a mighty 10 10x periscope optical zoom and the usual optical image stabilization, 8K video recording and the laser autofocus and you have got an impressively well-specced package. As you might expect, it takes some great shots. Samsung has fixed some of its long-standing issues with the color balance and contrast and that means the S21 Ultra produces some of the best stills we have seen in any of the smartphone. What's surprising is how usable many of the zoomed stills are. The 6.8-inch display is turning AMOLED panel with an adaptive refresh rate that moves between 9 and 120Hz depending on what you're doing. The internal specs are as high level as the other elements. The Snapdragon 888 processor gives you loads of power while 12GB of RAM and 128GB of storage space as basic options certainly mean you'll get a lot for your money. All these features come at a serious price. The basic version of the Galaxy S21 Ultra will cost you around $1200 in the international market and around 110,000 Indian rupees. So these are the best smartphones for photography under different category. So if I had left any of the best smartphone for photography in this list, please comment in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share this video among your friends and don't forget to hit that like button and share this video among your friends. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.